Good evening everyone. Thank you for joining us this evening for our musical Stations of the Cross, Via Dolorosa. It's a beautiful way to enter into the Holy Week. And so this evening we are going to reflect on our Lord's passion, his suffering, his death and his resurrection. And by reflecting on this, we want to put ourselves in the spirit of this Holy Week where we want to walk with the Lord, experience at least a little bit of what he experienced for us. So that's our prayer, that's our hope. So I invite you all to enter into the spirit of this evening's musical Stations of the Cross, Via Dolorosa. Let's go. 
he worthy? Is he worthy of this? Yes. Oh, is he worthy? Is he worthy? request you to not to applaud till the end because um, we want you to wait till the end until we you know finish so I want all of us to have a very spiritual experience of this evening and therefore consider this as a prayerful journey not merely a concert and so please hold until the end First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. It was early Friday morning when I saw my son. That was the first glimpse I had of him since they took him away. His bruised and bleeding skin sent a sword of pain deep into my heart and tears down my cheeks. Then Pilate, from his chair of judgment, asked the crowd why they wanted my son executed. All around me they shouted, Crucify him! I wanted to plead with them to stop. But I knew this had to be, so I stood by and cried silently. Lord Jesus, it is hard for me to imagine the anguish your mother felt at your condemnation. But what about today, when I hold a grudge? Crucify him. When I judge others, crucify him. Doesn't this bring tears of anguish to both you and your mother? Forgive me, Jesus.
second station jesus carries his cross we adore you christ and we bless you regaining a little strength i walked with the crowds to the entrance of the square a door flew open and my son stumbled out the guards laughing behind him two men dragged over a heavy wooden cross and dropped it on his shoulders then they shoved him down the road my pain for him was unbearable i wanted to take the cross from him and carry it myself but i knew this had to be so i walked on silently Lord Jesus I beg you to forgive me for the many times I have added more weight to your cross by closing my eyes to the pain and loneliness of my neighbor Forgive me for gossiping about others and for always trying to find excuses to avoid certain people who wish to talk with me Help me to be like Mary always seeking to lighten the crosses of others forgive me jesus third station jesus falls the first time we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross 
I followed close behind my son as he stumbled toward Calvary. Nothing had ever hurt me more than to see him in such pain. I saw the cross digging into his shoulders. My heart dropped when I saw him fall face to the ground. The heavy cross landing squarely on his back. For a moment I thought my beloved son was dead. Now my whole body began to tremble. Then the guards kicked him. He rose slowly and began to walk again. Yet they still whipped him. I wanted to protect him with my own body. But I knew this had to be. So I walked on and wept silently. Lord, how often have I seen you fall and unlike Mary, have left you there without concern. How often have I seen people make mistakes and laughed at them. How often do I find myself getting angry when someone does things differently than I. Mary offered you her support through your entire passion. Help me to do the same for you by the support I give to others. Lord, have mercy on me. Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. I had managed to break through the crowd and was walking side by side with my son. I called to him through the shouting voices. He stopped. Our eyes met mine full of tears of anguish, his full of pain and confusion. I felt helpless. Then his eyes said to me, Courage, there is a purpose for this. As he stumbled on, I knew he was right. So I followed and prayed silently. Lord Jesus, Forgive me the many times our eyes met and I turned mine away. Forgive me the times things did not go my own way and I let everyone know about it. Forgive me the times I brooded over little inconveniences or became discouraged and did not heed your call to courage. Yes, Lord, our eyes have met many times, but fruitlessly. Chapter the Spirit to song. 
Fifth station Simon helps Jesus carry his cross We adore you Christ and we bless you I could now see complete helplessness on the face of my son as he tried to carry his heavy load Each step looked as if it would be his last I felt his every pain in my heart and I wanted the whole thing to end Then I noticed some commotion near Jesus The guards had pulled a protesting man from the crowd They forced him to pick up the back of the cross to help lighten my son's load He asked the guards why this had to be I knew and so I followed silently Lord Jesus I have many times refused to help you I've been a selfish person who has often questioned your word Don't let me remain like Simon but help me to be like your mother Mary who always silently followed and obeyed
sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. As I continued close by Jesus, a woman pushed past the guards, took off her veil, and began to wipe my son's sweating, bloody face. The guards immediately pulled her back. Her face seemed to say, Why are you doing this to him? I knew, so I walked on in faith silently. Lord, this woman gave you the best she could. On the other hand, I have wanted to take more than I give. So many opportunities arise every day for me to give to you by giving to others, but I pass them by. My Savior, never let me ask why again, but help me to give all I have to you.
seventh station jesus falls the second time we adore you christ and we bless you again my son fell and again my grief was overwhelming at the thought that he might die i started to move toward him but the soldiers prevented me he rose and stumbled ahead slowly seeing my son fall get up again and continue on was bitter anguish to me but since i knew this had to be i walked on silently lord of all people mary was your most faithful follower never stopping in spite of all the pain she felt for you i have many times turned away from you by my sins and have caused others to turn away from you i beg you to have mercy on me
Eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. I was walking a few steps behind Jesus when I saw him stop. Some women were there crying for him and pitying him. He told them not shed tears for him. They had the opportunity to accept him as the Messiah. Like many others, they rejected him instead. He told them to shed tears for themselves, tears that would bring their conversion. They did not see the connection between that and his walk to death. I did. And as he walked on, I followed silently. My Savior, many times I have acted like these women, always seeing the faults in others and pitying them. Yet very rarely have I seen my own selfishness and asked your pardon. Lord, you have taught me through these women. Forgive me, Lord, for my blindness.
ninth station jesus falls the third time we adore you christ and we bless you this fall of jesus was agony to me not only had he fallen on the rocky ground again but now he was almost at the top of the hill of crucifixion the soldiers screamed at him and abused him almost dragged him the last few steps my heart pounded as i imagined what they would do to him next but i knew this had to be so i climbed the hill silently behind him my loving jesus i know that many times i have offered my hand to help people but when it became inconvenient or painful to me i left them making excuses for myself help me lord to be like your mother mary and never take my supporting hand away from those who need it
Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. With my son finally relieved of the weight of the cross, I thought he would have a chance to rest. But the guards immediately started to rip his clothes off, his blood clotted skin. The sight of my son in such pain was unbearable. Yet since I knew this had to be, I stood by and cried silently. Lord, in my own way, I too have stripped you. I've taken away the good name of another by foolish talk. I have stripped people of human dignity by my prejudice. Jesus, there are so many ways I have offended you through the hurt I have caused others. Help me to see you in all people. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Amen. 
as they threw Jesus on the cross he willingly allowed himself to be nailed as they punctured his hands and his feet i felt the pain in my heart then they lifted up the cross there he was my son whom i love so much being scorned as he struggled for the last few moments of earthly life but i knew this had to be so i stood by and prayed silently lord what pain you endured for me and what pain your mother went through seeing her only son die for the love of me yet both you and she are ready to forgive me as soon as i repent of my sin help me lord to turn away from all my sinfulness
12th station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. What greater pain is there for a mother than to see her son die right before her eyes? I, who had brought this Savior into the world and watched him grow, stood helplessly beneath his cross as he lowered his head and died. His earthly anguish was finished, but mine was greater than ever. Yet this had to be, and I had to accept it. So I stood by, and I mourned silently. My Jesus, have mercy on me for what my sins have done to you and to others. I thank you for your great act of love. You have said that true love is laying down your life for your friends. Let me always be your friend. Teach me to live my life for others and not fail you again.
13th station Jesus is taken down from the cross we adore you Christ and we bless you the crowd had gone the noise had stopped I stood quietly with one of Jesus' friends and looked up at the dead body of our Savior my son then two men took the body from the cross and placed it in my arms a deep sorrow engulfed my being yet I also felt deep joy life had ended cruelly for my son but it had also brought life to all of us I knew this had to be and I prayed silently Lord your passion has ended yet it still goes on whenever I choose sin over you I have done my part in your crucifixion and now my Savior I beg your forgiveness with all my heart help me to live a life worthy of you and your mother Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. We brought Jesus' body to a tomb, and I arranged it there myself, silently weeping 
silently rejoicing. I took one more look at my loving son and then walked out. They closed the tomb and before I left, I thought, I knew this had to be, it had to be for you. I would wait in faith silently. Yes, my Lord, this had to be because you love me and for no other reason. All you ask is that I live a good life. You never said such a life would be easy. I am willing to leave sin behind and live for you alone in my brothers and sisters. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home. Come Come home, you are weary. Come home, come home, come home, you are weary. Come home.
Thank you for joining us for this amazing evening where we reflected on our Lord's Stations of the Cross and experienced this great heavenly music took us to a totally different world and this way we invited you all to enter into the holy week that will be soon entering and we can't thank God enough for what God has done for us we can't thank Jesus enough for what he has done for us on the cross for giving us his life and leading us to eternal life and we can't thank God enough for our amazing music director Jeremiah and this choir To everyone who participated in our musical Stations of the Cross, a very big thank you from St. Gillian's Parish. We are so grateful to you and we pray that God will continue to use you for his glory just the way he used you tonight. Thank you. And if you would like to support our music ministry, uh, as you know that we have a lot of programs performed by our music ministry, we like to bring the best here to St. Killian. For that to happen, we need your support. So if you like to help, Father Tuan is waiting there with a big basket. <laughs> That's his job. So... <laughs> He's, he's good at frying fish and collecting donations. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you and good night. <laughs>